Ryan Little. <laughs> So hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am back today to give you guys a review on the Yairu Passion Twist hair that I did an unboxing video a couple weeks ago. So I will link that video down below in the description box as well as in the card. So make sure you guys check that out. But I did want to give a review on this hair and... I was going to give a review on this hair anyways, but I really want to address some things about this hair and the process of me doing my hair so you guys will know. I also will be inserting a hair tutorial. It's not going to be too long. You guys are pretty familiar on how I do my passion twist, so it's not anything new, but the company did want me to do a hair tutorial. So this video is going to be a review slash hair tutorial. Now before I get into the hair tutorial, I want to discuss the hair. So once again, if you guys are not familiar, familiar and if this is your first time watching a passion twist video from me I do want to mention again that this hair is from Yairu on Amazon so I'll be sure to leave all the information down in the description box so you guys can check that out if you are interested but the hair is from Yairu on Amazon this hair is 1B slash T27 so it's like an ombre of a natural black color to like a honey blonde. But when I first did my passion twist, I did do the TT27, which is similar to this. But I really do like this color. It really does fit me. So I went ahead and decided to get this color. So this is how the passion twist hair is looking. I'm sure you guys can tell that my hair looks very, very different in areas. And I will be discussing that momentarily as far as the hair i do like the hair i really did not have any issues with the hair as far as too much frizziness and it wasn't hard to grip the hair none of that stuff the hair was soft all that stuff but i do want to focus on the twist and how i did the twist so some of you are familiar with how I do my twists. I do do the crochet method. Some people will braid their natural hair with the twist and then begin twisting. I tried that the very first time I did my passion twist and I hated it. So I do do the crochet method. And you guys know recently I have cut off the rest of my damaged hair. I did do a video on that just discussing it. So I will link that down below in the description box as well as in the card so you guys can check that out as well but i went ahead and i cut off the damaged hair of my natural hair but i'm still having problem with my natural hair peeking through the twist so i am still either triple twisting or double tri twisting and what i mean by that is that i don't know if you guys know but every time well of course you guys don't really know and I don't know if you guys notice, but every time I do my passion twist, I do something slightly different. Like this time I actually cut them a little bit shorter than what I usually do. And I actually did that by accident, total accident. But I'm not too concerned about it. It's still cute and the length is not that bad. It's a little under my boobs, so it's not too bad. So that's one thing that I did different this time. Some of these twists, going back to how I twist them, some of these twists have about three strands twisted. A couple of more have four. The reason for that is because of my hair. The way that I parted my hair for these passion twists, I, I started getting lazy. None of my passion twists are ever the same size, ever. And I don't really make that a big deal about it. So some of these are a little bit thicker than the rest and that's because of my natural hair and then twisting the passion twist hair with my natural hair. And then my natural hair is still puffy in some areas. You guys can see this kind of that's my natural hair with the passion twist not too sure how many strands is on here it looks like four when it comes to the hair I'm using probably two of these the other one was already sectioned out but I'm using two of these for some of the strands other strands I'm using one of these and then one of another strand that I've divided I will link down below some of the other passion twist tutorials passion hair twist tutorials that I've done so you guys can get a feel of what I'm saying I'm sure some of you really don't understand and I'm really trying to explain it the best way possible but I've said this before it's kind of hard to explain it's better to see exactly what I'm talking about so you guys make sure you check some of those videos out another thing I don't know if it's the hair or if it's my twisting method I haven't changed my twisting method since I've been wearing passion twists I've been doing the same method so I'm not too sure it might be the hair 
I don't know. But as you guys can see, like this is really twisted. And then you guys can see that this one is not. This twist. Is that two? Oh, that's two different ones. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is pretty twisted up and this one is coming apart. Now, I don't know if it's because I accidentally cut my passion twist a little bit shorter than usual. I don't know if it's the hair, but I did the same method where I twist, 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 take some gel, lock it up, make sure the hair does not unravel, and then I cut a little bit at the end. But for some reason, it's still unraveling. So, I mean, some strands are looking like this. So this is why my hair looks different. Especially in the front, it's more so some of them in the front. The rest of the hair is pretty much twisted up, as you guys can see. But it's a couple strands in the front from, for some odd reason that just won't stay twisted. So I'm going to continue to just twist it, twist it. I did add some freeze spray to some of the ends because I noticed I had I was having that problem uh, very quickly as soon as I was done with my hair. Like it started unraveling for some reason. So I did spray some freeze spray on it kind of to lock it and that kind of helped. But some of them, as you can see, they are still unraveling. Now I'm not really making it a big deal because I feel like with passion twists, when it comes to the actual passion twist hair, like once you've gotten to your hair and twist it up, I really don't mind if my hair shows, of course, like the black part, but I don't want it peeking through. Now when it comes to the passion twist hair, I don't mind if it peeks through because in my opinion, passion twists are not supposed to look 100% neat, okay? It's supposed to give you like that real twisty, but semi messy look to it. So I don't mind that some of the twists are unraveling to be honest with you, but as long as it's unraveling more so towards the bottom, once it hits a certain peak, like right here, then we have an issue. Um, but right now, I'm not too worried about it because when I get bored, I can just do this, twist it up. I really don't think it's my twisting method because like I said, I'm doing the same thing. So it has to be the hair or if it is the hair, it could be maybe I didn't fluff it out enough. That could be a reason also. I'm not too sure. I kind of rushed this process to be quite honest with you guys. I really did. So yeah. But aside from that, I do like my hair. I do like this color. I will have these in for a while. So I will definitely get that video out for you guys um, with some styles with Passion Twist. So you guys can see how I style passion twists and how you can style passion twists i'm really lazy when it comes to passion twists i usually just wear it down or put it in a big old bun so yeah so that is pretty much it as far as the review i do like this hair from yairu didn't really have any issues with the hair besides the unraveling parts not saying it's not staying twisted but like i said i don't know if that's the hair or i don't know if i didn't fluff the hair out enough I'm not too sure, but it's not really a serious con for me. But other than that, I do not have any other issues with the hair. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the hair tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to comment down below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me, and I will try my best to answer them for you. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell so you will not miss a new upload from yours truly once again hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in my next one ryan little <laughs>